I, I don't want to go down any rabbit holes prematurely. Um, you know, this this is a very <laughs> this is a very complex universe we live in, uh, and it's a system. And uh, we're learning more and more about the reality of life and, and the transition of what birth means and the transition of what death means and and uh you know human consciousness and human spirit and whatnot um and you know suffice it to say i, I we, we probably really don't have a very good handle right now on on understanding uh, what lies beyond our five senses i've said this before we have five fundamental senses for which we we judge our environment and if you can't touch it taste it hear it smell it or you know feel whatever um it, it's it, it doesn't exist. And yet the reality is 99.9% .9 of the universe lies well beyond our, our ability to sense these things. We have Wi-Fi signals coursing through your body every moment of every day. We have cosmic radiation coming from the cosmos. We've got neutrinos that are flooding your body from the sun. We've got cellular signals and radar signatures that are coming from the local airport. And all these are real. And I tell people, if you want to know the reality of the universe, look at a night sky one night and look how pretty it is. Now take a radio telescope and look at that same night sky, look at it through infrared, look at it through, through ultraviolet, and you're going to see things you've never seen before. And so by definition, 99% of our, our, our knowable universe, we can't even perceive. And then when you look at the scale of the universe, and I've said this before, if you look at, you know, the I, I was corrected recently that the, the visible galaxy, the visible, or the visible known universe is about 90 some uh, billion light years across, even though it's only been around 13.7 billion light years, we think uh, that the actual, for the, 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 the seeable universe right now around us is, is about 97 billion light years. And as big as that is in terms of us being this little tiny minute thing stuck in the middle of it, there is equally that amount of space, relative space inside every one of us. If you look at an atom, which is one times 10 to the minus 26 in size, the mole, compared that to, to the human body, uh, we have that same that same amount of space inside every one of us. There's a whole universe inside of us. And so so the scale in which we live, unless something is 50 feet in front of our face, we'll never be able to interact with anything that is an order of magnitude above us or below us. We can't even see the cells in our bodies without a microscope. So so there are these realities all around us that constantly that, that exist and that we are part of, and yet we cannot interact with it. And, and by that definition, 99.9% .9 of the universe falls outside of the realm of our perception. So who's to say that that all of reality needs to fit neatly within the very narrow spectrum of the electro optical electro optical frequency that we call visible light when we know that that's not true. Same thing with acoustics, same thing with electromagnetic, same thing with everything. And I think it's foolhardy for science to presume that that everything can be explained through the fundamental five senses and the scale in which we live, because we know that's not true. Look at dark energy and dark matter. It, most of the universe can't even be seen. All right, even the fundamental forces. Who knows fundamental if there's more? Fundamental forces, right. Right, strong force, weak force, electromagnetism, right. So, so you know, I, I think we need to remember, if you are truly a scientist, we must remain open to the fact that, that we are judging our environment through a very, very narrow lens. Uh, it's like watching a sitting uh, up on the bleachers, watching a football game at the very, very highest part of the bleachers, and watching the whole game through a soda straw. You're, you're going to miss most of it, you know. So that would be my that'd be my uh, my two cents. Emil S says, "Thanks, thank Lewis for me. Without him, 